If you are wondering how to create unique user IDs that contain both number sequence and text, you are in the right place. Excel offers multiple easy solutions to create a number sequence with text. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Demi, your day-to-day -day Excel and VVA tutorial helpline. This is Hadi Ulbasher and today I'll demonstrate 5 simple methods of creating a number sequence with text in Excel. For this video, I'll use Microsoft Excel 365. Here is a dataset that contains both the number sequence and the text. This includes the prefix and the suffix. You can see that I have created a user ID combining the prefix followed by the number sequence and adding suffix to the end of the user ID. I will show you the details process of creating the user IDs in this tutorial. You can apply the text and row functions to create a number sequence with text. To do so, go to cell D5, type equal, select cell B5 that contains the prefix, type F4 to log the cell reference, now type an ampersand. Note that the ampersand sign allows you to join the text before and after the ampersand sign to a single string. And after the prefix, I need the number sequence in a text format. So, I'll use a combination of text and row function to get the number sequence. Type text. The text function converts a value to text in a specific number format. To get the value, I'll use the row function. So, type row. The row function returns the row number of a reference. As the reference argument of the row function, select cell A1, close the parenthesis. The row function will return the row number of the cell A1 and the row number of the cell A1 is 1. However, I need the first user ID with the number sequence 0. So I am subtracting 1, place a comma, and for the format text argument of the text function, I will use two hyphens with four digits in between as the format. And you need to place the format text within an inverted comma. So type the inverted comma, hyphen, four zeros, hyphen again, close the inverted comma, and close the parenthesis. Lastly, I need to join the suffix at the end of the user ID. So to join the suffix, type the ampersand and select cell C5. Press F4 to lock the cell reference and hit enter. You can see a number sequence with text is created. To create the rest of the user IDs, I'll use the autofill feature. In this way, you can create a number sequence with text. In the previous method, I have used the row function to get the serial number. However, you can also create the serial number manually. Move to cell D5, type 0, press enter, then type 1 in cell D6, press enter. Now select cells F5 to F6 and use the autofill feature. You can see the serials are created. Now you can use the ampersand sign and the text function to create the user IDs, combining the user followed by the serial number and the suffix at the end. To do so, go to cell E5, type equal, choose the prefix, press F4 to lock the cell reference, place an ampersand, type the text function. As the value argument of the text function, select cell D5, place a comma. The rest of the formula will be exactly same as the previous method. For the format text argument, type our predefined format, close the parenthesis, type ampersand, and select the suffix. Press F4 and hit enter. You can see the user ID is created. Now use the autofill feature to create the rest of the user IDs. To join the strings, you can use the concat or concatenate function instead of the ampersand sign that I have demonstrated in the first two methods. Both the concat and concatenate functions join text. However, the concat function is a limited version of the concatenate function, and you will find the concat function in the most recent versions of the Excel. Now go to cell D5, type equal concat. The concat function concatenates a list or range of text strings. Press tab to autocomplete the function. As the first argument to join, you need to select the text 1. 
In my case, I am choosing cell C5 that contains the prefix. Log the cell reference. Place a comma. As a text to argument, I need to pass the number sequence. Again, I will use the same combination of the text and row functions that I have used in the first method to get the number sequence. So type text for the value argument, type row, select cell A1, close the parenthesis, subtract 1, place a comma. For the format text, use the predefined format. Close the parenthesis, place a comma. Now as the text 3 argument, I will select cell C5 and lock the cell reference. Close the parenthesis and I have inserted all the necessary arguments to create the user ID. Now press enter and you will get the first user ID. Use the autofill feature to get all the user IDs. Now if you want to use the concatenate function, move to cell E5, type equal concatenate. The concatenate function joins several text strings into one text string and the arguments of the concatenate function is exactly same arguments of the concat function. So I am repeating the arguments for the concatenate function. As a text one argument, select cell B5, log the cell reference. For the text two argument, type text now row and select cell A1, close the parenthesis, subtract 1, place a comma, insert the format text, close the parenthesis and choose suffix as the text 3 argument. Log the cell reference, close the parenthesis and hit enter. You can see the user ID is created. Now we can use the autofill feature to get the remaining user IDs. In this way, you can use a concat or concatenate function to create a number sequence with text. You can use the rows function to get the number sequence. Go to cell D5, type equal, select the prefix, press F4 to log the cell reference. Place an ampersand, type the text function. As a value argument of the text function, I will use the rows function. Type rows. The rows function returns the number of rows in a reference or array. As the array argument of the rows function, type the cell reference of A1. Press the F4 key twice to lock the row reference. Use colon. Again, type A1 as the cell reference. Close the parenthesis. The rows function will return the number of rows in this array. And the number of rows in this array is 1. And as I need 0 as the first user ID, so I am subtracting 1, place a comma, as the format text argument, use our predefined value, close the parenthesis to complete the text function, now place an ampersand to join the suffix, and click on the suffix. Press F4 to lock the cell reference. Now hit enter. In this way, you will get the first user ID. Use the autofill feature to get all the user IDs. This will give you a number sequence with text. If you are not a formula guy, you can definitely use the flash fill command to create a number sequence with text. Here I will create the number sequence in column C and create the user ID in column E. First of all, I need to set our predefined number sequence in column C. To do so, select cell C5 to C10. From the Home tab, in the Numbers section, click on this drop-down arrow. This opens different available number formats. In my case, I need to define a custom number format, so I am clicking on More Number Formats. This opens Format Cells window. In the Numbers section, in the Category field, you will find Custom at the bottom of the list. Click on this custom option. Here you can see different number format options. To create my custom number format, go to the type field, discard the current value, and type our desired number format, hyphen, followed by four zeros, and hyphen again. Now click on OK to set the number format. 
let's move to cell C5, type 0, and hit enter. This returns 0 in our desired number format. Now type 1 in cell C6, and hit enter. The format is working fine, so let's use the autofill feature to quickly get all the numbers. Double click on the autofill icon. In this way, you'll get the number sequence. Now move to cell E5 to manually type the user ID. To use the flash fill command, we need to type the first user ID manually. Type user hyphen four zeros, that is the number sequence, and the suffix. Now press enter. So this is our first user ID. Now to use the flash fill command, go to the data tab. From the data tools section, click on flash fill. Alternatively, you can use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus E to use the flash fill command. Great, you can see that the user IDs are created. I have demonstrated the step-by-step -step guide for creating a number sequence with text in Excel. Hopefully, you can apply this knowledge to create a number sequence with text according to a requirement and convenience. You can download the practice workbook from the video description to sharpen your Excel skills. Feel free to leave any questions, suggestions, or feedback in the comment section below. To check out our Excel blogs, you can visit excelremy.com. For more content like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching our video. Bye.